This is Professor Darif Seitz. This Java tutorial demonstrates pop-up input and output from a simple console application. In our main method, we first print out to the console this example uses pop-up windows. Next, we're going to get input using J option pane show input dialog. We've included the import for J option pane. It's in the Java X swing package. The first parameter is a reference to a parent component since we're running from the system console. We don't really have an available uh, parent component. If we were in a true graphical user interface application, as we'll see in other tutorials, then we could supply a parent component here and the window would stay on top of that window even if we clicked on its parent. Continuing here, the show input dialog is going to display this message that we passed as the second parameter, enter the radius of a circle. The user will enter uh, the radius and this method call here is modal also in terms of the call. It's like a function call. The code will stop and wait until the user has supplied the, the radius that we've asked for and they've hit the, the button on the dialog to dismiss it. So it blocks here in a modal fashion. Once we get the radius, it'll come in as a string into this s radius string variable which is being assigned the output from this show input dialog call. Next we want to do a calculation with the radius. We want to compute the area of a circle so we have to convert it to a double. We use the double wrapper class parse double function and pass in the radius and we get a double that we call radius. Then to calculate the area, the area of a circle is pi r squared, where r is the radius, pi radius squared. So we take math.pi, which is the um, static, it's the constant for pi. We multiply it times uh, the power function of math, which takes radius and raises it to the second power. So pi times the radius squared. And now we have the area. Next we're going to use a pop-up window to display it back to the user. J option pane has a show message dialog. And this time we pass the area of the circle is and we concatenate the area formatted with a decimal formatter to allow uh, four decimal places of precision to the right and not more than that. The user will see the result, then they'll dismiss that result. And finally, we're going to get an opinion from the user through a J option pane show confirm dialog and ask them the question, do you like pop-up windows? They can hit a yes, a no, or a cancel button. And J option pane has constants for the, very, the integer values that come back. If they hit the yes button, will our opinion int will be equal to j option pane yes option and we will print on the system console then you probably don't use pop-up blockers else if they had entered the no option will print then you probably use pop-up blockers if they hit the cancel option then neither one of these will happen and we'll just end our program Let's run this program now and see the interaction with the user. Here's the system console window that says this example uses pop-up windows. And here's our pop-up. Enter the radius of a circle. Notice it has a question mark icon because we're asking for information here. And they can hit OK or cancel. Let's enter a radius of 10. When we 
do pi r squared, when we square 10 we get 100, and 100 times pi will be easily recognizable. Hit OK. The area of the circle is 314.1593. We see pi with now that it's been factored by 100, and we have the area, and there's the four decimal places of precision that we show with our formatter. This has an eye icon for its information, it's a message. The user clicks OK, and we ask the user again for to tell us, do you like pop-up windows this time? And they're going to say, well, OK, they like them. So we click Yes. Then you probably don't use pop-up blockers. OK, we're going to go back to our program, and then we'll run this one more time. Here's the program running again. This time I'm showing my full screen view of everything. There's the system console. There's our pop-up window. And if I click anywhere else, like even on the system console itself, my pop-up is now behind this somewhere because this has the focus and we did not really have a real parent component. Remember we passed null through the first parameter on these calls. So now I have to try to find it. Uh, I'll minimize my system console and there it is. But if I should happen to click over here, then it goes behind my editor. If I minimize that, there it is on top of the Java API documentation for J Option Pane. And if I was to click on that, it would even go behind that. <clears throat> now, getting it back so I can see the system console and it at the same time is a little tricky. I'll have to move it over there and bring my console up and move this back on top of it. And be careful I don't do that again because it's annoying having to hunt around for something that you saw and somewhere it's disappeared. So we'll run through it again. We'll take this time the radius of the circle to be 70. And the area of the circle now is that number. Click OK. Do you like pop-up windows? Well, from a system console application, I'm not too fond of them now. So I'll say no. And then you probably will use pop-up blockers. And that's correct. Now we're going to go back to our, our code. Back in the code to review, we've seen that we can use J Option Pane to get input through a pop up window through Show Input Dialog. We can display information in a pop up back to the user through J Option Pane Show Message Dialog and we can get a yes or no sort of opinion from the user through a J option pane show confirm dialogue.